Hi everybody, Ralph here. I'm a model builder and tool collector and today I want to share with you one of my latest projects. I had seen some pictures of an old wagon jack, a lever jack of this sort. In fact I remember seeing the actual thing in my childhood and I wanted to recreate it in miniature uh, as best I could. It's a, it's a very simplistic, simple uh, machine, yet it's got some complicated principles that uh, are applied. This is the kind of jack that was used to jack up buckboards, wagons, stagecoaches, uh, even old cars and things of the sort. I tried to build one of brass to resemble the full scale one. Mostly they were made of wood, but some were made of metal in the olden days and as I said it's a very simplistic lever operating kind of machine. Archimedes is said to have said in the third century give me a, a lever and a place to stand and I'll move the whole world. Well this thing won't move the whole world but it will jack up a uh, wagon or buckboard. It's two basic components really. The, the inside post with a rack on it and a backboard with clasps on it and also the uh, axle cup which is movable up and down and removable. It slides onto the flat side of the main post into which the lever is applied. The lever pivots at this elbow with the resistance arm being very short and the effort arm considerably longer. Meaning that very little effort applied here can deliver tremendous effort here which then is sliding up the rack on the jack very much like this. Now it doesn't lift very much but in old wagons and buckboards it didn't need to. They didn't have suspensions and they had solid tires. So all that you needed was a three or four inch lift and you were off the ground to replace a wheel or something. To demonstrate how this lever jack worked we've borrowed this old stagecoach model and we'll apply the jack to it as it was done. The jack was positioned under a solid frame member and levered down, that is raising up the coach. Once the arm passed, or passed the lock over point, it was solid, firm, it would hold itself in place. Now the wheel could safely be removed. Notice that it took very little amount to lift it off the ground since it has no suspension and it has solid tires, wheels, that's all it took. The wheel could now be repaired and replaced. And the jack brought back down. The stage is ready to go. Many coaches and wagons and certainly way stations had a jack of this sort in a toolbox somewhere. and it came in very handy in all kinds of other operations in the farm, factories, blacksmith shops, etc. The lever jack, very simple apparatus employing very complex physics principles and yet it made for a very beautiful display. This is Ralph saying thanks for watching. See you next time.